Good afternoon, guys. I'm Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I'm going to be doing today's Ascension messages for April 6th through 10th, 2020. Um, there was one message that came out while I was shuffling and preparing for um, this reading, and it was ready, set, go. That was it. And I kind of like chuckled at it and wasn't going to write it down. And then I heard it three other times after that. And I'm like, okay, I get you. I hear you. So I wrote it down and that's what it is. Ready, set, go. And it feels like a very positive energy. It feels like something that has to do with moving forward. Um, I'm hearing forward movement. So I guess that is exactly what it's about. But there were two cards that came out when I was shuffling and preparing for this reading. The first card was fairies says you have a strong bond with the fairies and your life purpose involves helping Mother Nature. Give me just a second on this card, though, because there was something else that had came out, and now I forgot what it was um, when I had seen this card earlier. So give me just a second. Okay, this is just about connecting with nature, getting out, um, sitting by the waterways, um, putting your bare feet to the ground. Some of you may even want to consider doing a mud bath is what I'm hearing. So putting your feet in the mud, covering your legs and arms with mud, whatever. But get the, get into the earth. Um, some of you might want to start planting flowers and getting your hands dirty. But just connect um, as much as possible with Mother Nature, with nature. The trees is what I'm hearing. Um Some of you may want to leave out like chocolate or shiny things for the fairies. Tell them that you'd like to connect with them. Ask them what kind of things that you can do to help Mother Nature and then wait for those intuitive uh, feelings. Either you'll get like impressions of, vis of uh, visuals or scenery or pictures of things that, that are like garbage and things or maybe planting flowers. It could be so many different things. However, just make sure that you're praying and meditating and asking, how can I connect with you? How can I help Mother Nature? What do you want me to do that has to do with nature? It may just be getting out and meditating. It may just be um, doing healing on the earth, uh, pulling in any kind of lower vibrating energies, transmuting them back into love and light and sending them back into the earth. I don't know. It could be so many different things. So just make sure that you're connecting and asking what you're supposed to be doing. Um, the next card that came out is the Lady of the Harvest. This is a number 18 card. Uh, one is about staying positive, uh, new uh, beginnings. Uh, eight is about abundance, infinity, uh, financial security, blessings. Um, but this card is about just what it's talking about. A harvest coming, blessings coming, people being rewarded for things um, that they're doing. Um, you know, just a lot of miracles happening. But I'm, I'm feeling like entrepreneurs right now are really somehow getting a heads up on things on uh, financially is what I'm feeling like um, a lot of people are having creative ideals on how to get their business out there during this quarantine or if you're on lockdown because of the coronavirus and things like that but I feel like a lot of people are really being inspired to be creative right now and figure out new ways of meeting with people um, video chats and things like that what have you but I feel like there's just a lot of creative ideas that are coming into people when it has to do with their business okay um, okay, I'm getting for a lot of people, this harvest is talking about the connection between you and your guides, you and uh, your higher self, the connection with you and your kundalini energy or life force energy, whatever you want to uh, call it. Um, some of you, this is the connection that you have to spirit, to Holy Spirit. Um, some of you are starting to speak light language and are harvesting uh, different gifts or manifesting different gifts into your life because of the healing that you've been doing. Um, DNA is starting to open up and awaken due to the healing that you've been doing, uh, pushing through fears, um, taking a look at your shadow side, uh, you know, whatever it may be, doing DNA healing, sun gazing and getting healing from the sun, connecting with nature and getting healing from nature, whatever it may be. But there's people that are harvesting these new gifts or manifesting these new gifts due to the amount of time and effort that you're putting into healing. Just a lot of blessings, guys, a whole lot of blessings. And when I, while I'm thinking about it, I was being reminded that when I made that healing video by the water the other day, um, there were several, hold on a second, several, give me just one second here. 
Okay, sorry guys. I was, you know, in Houston Woods uh, State Park and was doing some meditating and I did that healing video by the water. But um, as I was starting to record, I pan around and I notice a bunch of these sitting there. I don't know if anybody connects with these, but I find these, I have a, I have a very deep connection to them. There was like 15 total all in one spot. They were in a particular pattern. So I don't know if somebody put them there or if fairies put them there for me or what have you, but I've got a very strong connection to these. So as well as shells, and this was a perfect shell. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, and then I was also gifted, where did it go? Where did it go? Um, it just fell somewhere. Anyway, it, uh, two very, very bright, clear crystals, just um, uh, real pretty crystals. But anyhow, so it, it's just reminding me like nature may be giving you gifts, gifts of um, it could be twigs that are placed in a certain in a certain way, or you may find like a abandoned nest and you feel like, I don't know if you guys just seen that float right in front of me, but anyway, an abandoned nest that maybe you're supposed to connect with and take home and, and use it as decoration or whatever, but get, gifts are given from the nature beings all the time to me. So if you feel led to pick something up or if it's a flower, you're supposed to, if you feel led to pick it, I'm not real big on picking flowers. However, if you feel like you're supposed to do that, then do that, but make sure that you tell them, thank you. And, um, Ask them, why were, why are you gifting this to me? What can I give you in return? And usually it's just a, a an energy return. Um, you do so, doing something for nature. It may have been gifted. These may have been gifted to me just because I was doing some kind of healing with the water. It could be so many different reasons why they would gift you with, with things like that. But some of you are receiving gifts um, during meditation as well. So I've been gifted many wreaths from elks, from... Um, centaurs from uh deers different animals have gifted me wreaths when i've kind of like upped a level or went up a level in my evolution or my ascension process or whatever not that there's really levels but i kind of like moved up in my gifts awakening and things like that so in my healing but um some of you are getting gifts like that that's what the this is talking about this harvest and and connecting with the fairies and nature is what it's talking about Okay, if that's you, make sure to put in the comments. I love to hear things like this. A lot of people are afraid to leave a lot of comments, but that's actually what helps me to get share, uh, not shares, um, views or put into the um, algorithm where more people see my videos and stuff. So make sure that you, you send me those comments, guys. Instead of sending them to my messenger, I don't dislike them in messenger but everybody else would like to hear them too so please feel free to do that which cards am i supposed to get here right now angel cards okay angels what messages do you have please for april 6th through 10th 2020 thank you for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going this one too Okay, let me stop for a minute. They're just flying out. Akasha, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Are you being called to make videos that have to do with teaching people about the things that you've learned during your ascension journey or during your awakening process? Um, are you supposed to be journaling these things down and writing a a book or information pamphlets to be able to, to give to people? What is it? Are you just supposed to be, you know, um, teaching people how to do things? I'm getting ready to, to do a Zoom, some Zoom video chatting where I think it's like 30, up to 30 people or more can uh, join and do healing and stuff like that because I've been guided to. What are you being guided to do right now? Whatever you're being guided to do, make sure that you do that. For some of you, it's your artwork and putting your artwork out there. It's healing to people. Um, some of you, it's your music. Some of you, it is just your writing. There are pictures, photos I'm, I'm seeing, Stacy. <laughs> Find creative ways of getting your businesses, your gifts, your whatevers out into the world so that they can be known and used. They're going to be called on eventually if they're not already. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. A lot of you are reaching out to people, taking and dropping food off at their house, um, paying for people's food behind you in a drive through because you guys are on lockdown and a lot of people are starting to run out of food or what have you. Keep doing those things. Keep being of service. There is ways of being of service without being out in public and putting other people in jeopardy. Um, 
you know, what have you, the, the six to eight feet away from people. But make sure if you're feeling led to be of service and doing things for people that you're doing that. This is a lot about an energy of love, unconditional love, people doing things for people out of love and not out of expecting something in return. Good for you. Congratulations. I feel like people are just stepping into a new energy of not being so self-centered and not being so... um self-righteous but really caring and i'm not saying everybody obviously everybody is not that way but the whole entire world is going through a process of reevaluation of their life their emotions their energy um, questioning all situations and relationships in their life and, and everything that's the entire planet guys that's not just you know a couple states or countries this is the entire planet is going through a mass awakening reevaluating their life and just really questioning everything if you're going through that that's exactly what you should be going through but no like during this time try not to fear all the things that are going on you're powerful you know how to be powerful without allowing these things to get to you without allowing your ego to swell up as well as what i'm hearing some of you still have egoish things that you need to let go instead of saying look at me look at me and what i'm doing for others and how i am being of service just be of service and be grateful that you're able to be of service Eleven twenty-two. you can look that up Sacred Scribes is a good place to look it up. Ariel, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. I cannot stress the importance of prayer and meditation. My life... Um, wasn't real chaotic and stuff. I had started, you know, changing my life around with the 12 steps of, of, um, you know, working the 12, working through some of the 12 steps with my sponsor in a 12 step program. So I was, you know, I had a little bit of a heads up on things before I started realizing that I was awakening to these other gifts and, you know, the gifts that I already had was being more opened and more enhanced and what have you. But, um, what was, what, I, what was it I was trying to get to? Okay, so all of these things that I had went through um, are now things that other people are starting to get through. They're starting to wake up to like astral traveling through meditation, um, you know, filling uh, the gifts of healing because of meditating. It opens up your DNA to other uh, abilities, spiritual abilities and gifts that people aren't even aware that we're supposed to have. These are all things that have became dormant due to traditions or programming that, that society has, has told us is wrong or what have you. All the world is starting to awaken to these abilities, intuition, being more clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, um, telepathy, uh, all of those type of gifts, you know, gifts of the spirit are starting to be awakened in people. And meditation is where it's at. If you will meditate and allow yourself to just be silent for three to five minutes a day, you will start to see many things change in your life. Don't worry about whether or not there's noise around you. Try to meditate with noise around you because eventually you just get to a space of being quiet. Give yourself a break. Do it for five days. Give yourself a break on the sixth and seventh day. And then on the eighth and ninth day start back up again on on meditating okay when you pray pray and ask that you um 1331 mirror pray and ask that you will be um led eventually into a place of silence into a place where you can manifest things which is called zero point energy you'll start to fill your kundalini life force energy the holy spirit whatever you want to call moving through you which would be like pitter patters energy swirling or spinning around you and inside of you uh tingling pulling and tugging on different places seeing light flickers of light um hearing music hearing angels talk to you all kinds of different things okay feeling the feelings and emotions that other people are feeling and not even knowing what they're going through but you can pick up on what they're going through that's empathy that is a, a spiritual gift that a lot of people have however many don't and are starting to awaken to that so prayer meditations where it's at um don't be afraid to um reach out to people and and pray and meditate with them have group meditations i don't like doing the ones where there's like hundreds of people in them but when there's like 5 10 20 maybe 30 people it doesn't bother me the more energy that is involved for me the it creates more of almost like a confusion in my energy so it, it, everybody's different whatever is good for you um 
I don't even know how it's going to go when I start. Am I supposed to take all three of those? I'm not even know. Don't know how it's going to go when I start doing these four, five of them, all of these. Okay, I'm supposed to take them all. Um, when I start doing these Zoom meetings, I don't know if the energy is going to be too much for me. I'm assuming that it probably won't because I'm being guided to do it. However, like some of those things, I'm just not used to being able to do. So, um, Okay, past life issue. This situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, and learn and heal from your past life. Again, pray and meditate. Set the intention that when you meditate, you're, you're um, connecting with different timelines or different lifetimes um, that need to be healed. What what? What lifetime needs to be healed that is affecting me in my current lifetime now or current timeline now? What do I need to heal in that? And usually it'll, it'll, you'll get glimpses of or have memories or even night dreams when you're sleeping of different timelines or lifetimes that you've had. And maybe it's fearful things that you went through. It could be abuse and trauma. It could be people dying. It could be so many things. You could have been a soldier in war and it caused you like PTSD. A million gazillion scenarios could happen, but pay attention to those things, write those things down. But when you come out of these dreams or these meditations, or, or even when you're in the meditation and you're starting to see these things, see the opposite happening. See that scenario being a healed scenario or a different scenario happening in general and change the timeline completely around to where it heals that past life so that it starts to transform and change things in this lifetime and this current timeline. Yes, I hear. Okay. I was saying that right. Just making sure. Um, a lot of you, this has to do with finding out when you was an ascended master, what ascended master was you, what energy or healing uh, gifts or spiritual gifts can you pull from these energies of these past lives and use in this lifetime? It is possible. Make sure that you do that. A lot of you, I feel, are already doing that, but some of you are confused on how to do that. Get into a state of meditating first. When you're starting to get your mind quiet, it could take months for some people. Some people just don't like sitting there and trying to be quiet. Just allow it to happen. It happens. You become silent when, silent when you're supposed to, okay, when the time is right. So if it takes months like it did me sitting there and, and just being until just one day I started feeling that energy and I started hearing and seeing Ascended Masters and Jesus and Mother Mary and different ETs and uh, all kinds of different beings, fairies and stuff started communicating with me in the spiritual. So make sure that you're doing that. Meditation is so mo much important. So big. Anyway, listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. Again, something to do with what you're eating and putting into your body. Make sure that when you're praying and meditating that this is one of the things that you pray about. What kind of foods are going to make me the healthiest? What foods did I eat in lo other lifetimes or timelines that made me the healthiest physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, what have you, okay, energetically? Make sure that you're finding out what it was and then start eating those things. Um, when I connect and have asked those types of things, I'm seeing a lot to do with vegetables, not fruits, but vegetables and a lot to do with water, drinking water. And I've seen myself putting energy into it. And I used to do this all the time. I don't do it anymore, but I need to get back to it. But take your hands and put your energy around, I mean, or the hands around the food or drink, drink, excuse me, and push your energy from your heart space through your arms and in through your hands into whatever it is that you're eating or consuming and transform that energy into something that your body is going to be capable of accepting and not be toxic to it. Um, am I saying this correctly? Just about, they said, and I'm hearing some giggling, but you know what I'm saying, guys. Um, push your energy into it. Uh, transform those energies. See the energies being something that, that your body is accepting of. Um, ask yourselves to let you know when you're done pushing energy into it, when it's enough energy, what have you, or you'll just feel your energy shutting off in your hands. Um, integrity. <coughs> Align your actions in, so that they match your inner. Let me start all over. Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what is right for you. I'm just going to leave this right here, guys. You you know exactly what this means. Um, you know, be what you what you preach. Don't just be preaching all kinds of stuff and not and not be that person. But you know, be what you preach. 
If you don't like people doing something to you, don't do it to them. I feel like there may be a lot to do with uh, the family dynamic and people being separated at this time and maybe some arguing that's going on. 2002, I was told to tell you, another mirror. So some of you may be twin flames or may just be mirroring uh, things in other people because, you know, that's what we do. We mirror the good, bad, and indifferent when, when we're around people a lot. We mirror their energy, so just make sure that you're paying attention to if it's a not so good or indifferent energy that you're not acting out in that way. Ascended masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. So many of us are missing out on the opportunity to connect with any ascended master by not meditating and, and praying and setting the intent to connect with these ascended masters. They are capable of teaching you how to heal yourself and others. So many things, how to connect with all these spiritual gifts, how to do healing on your DNA and how to transform your DNA, um, how to do healing on different parts of the universe, on the earth. Um, so many different things, guys. You can learn anything from the Ascended Masters. So make sure that you're connecting by prayer and meditation. Just set the intention. I want to connect with Jesus today. I want to know about his life. I want to know what he did when he was gone, when the Bible isn't talking about him for very long. Um you know, get answers, seek and get answers through prayer and meditation. That's where it's at. Clear, cancel, delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they are rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. A lot of people are into, you know, really uh, panicking and being fearful of everything that's going on with the, the coronavirus, guys. I understand and believe that it is true and have no doubt about that. However, the energies uh, that are going on are, are energies that are taking and collapsing uh, systems that need to be collapsed. Big pharma, certain parts of the government, um, anything that has to do with pedophilia. Uh, you know, anything of lower vibrating energy that is affecting the planet as a whole is being crumbled and collapsed at this time. So a lot of people are fearing what, what's going on. A lot of people that, that, okay, we all are going through a mass awakening, but now that the whole planet is kind of in tune to this mass awakening, there's a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion, a lot of people's emotions and feelings being up and down. Two, 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 two. Questioning uh, if they're making the right choices or if they're going in the right direction. Am I really in my divine life purpose? Like a lot of questions is exactly what we're supposed to be going through. Programming is being uh, collapsed. Systems are being collapsed so that new things can happen. So don't be afraid of all these things. If you're thinking things or doing things that are, are fear and panic or doubt, make sure that you're thinking of gratitude. Make a gratitude list. Shout out things that you're grateful for. What is something that you can do to bring you in a more positive energy at that time? Do healing or send healing and prayers out to people, places, and things that are going through these changes and, and stuff and, um, or having a hard time staying positive. So pray for people to be positive when you're not positive. Like just get out of you. Okay. Um, what cards am I supposed to go to right now? I heard the fairy cards. So, and I think I'm almost done with this reading. Is that one it? Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's gnome. Okay, this is the trickster energy. A lot of trickery going on. A lot of backstabbing maybe going on. People talking about other people. Gossip. Um, this could just be meaning that the universe is, you know, sending you different things that you wasn't expecting to to receive. And it's really kind of throwing you for a loop because you're in shock. You wasn't expecting that. It's a lot more money than you expected or a better job or a better scenario than you could have ever expected while you're going through these fearful times. Look, they'll take this fear and they'll change it right back into a big major blessing just to show you that God's still in control or that the universe is still in control, whatever you want to call the energy of love, okay? It's still in control. I'm hearing, good job, Trish. <laughs> what cards am I supposed to go to now? Animal cards, okay. Animal spirit guides, what messages do you have, please, for April 6th through 10th, 2020? For all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process, please. What messages do you have for April 6th through 10th, 2020? For all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey, thank you. Falcon, act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it, commit to it without equivocation. And I'm also hearing to get out and connect with the birds as well as nature. Get out and connect with the birds. I've been seeing a lot of hawks. I've been seeing falcons, eagles. 
Um, a lot of Orioles, which is about, you know, new beginnings, brighter uh, starts, you know, a brighter time ahead, things like that. So make sure that you're connecting with um, the symbols out in nature, as well as like the signs, the birds and, you know, feathers on the ground or coins being presented to you, uh, what have you. Guys, make sure that you're paying attention to those things. If you're seeing animals repeat, look up the animal symbolism for it and find out why am I seeing that? What am I thinking about when I'm seeing that? You know, what have you. The universe is always talking to us through signs, symbols, um, energies, what have you. People, places, and things. Spider. Trust the creative spark you've been feeling and express it through writing stories and inspire and enlighten. Just a confirmation of what I was saying in the beginning of this reading. There's a lot of creative energy that people are being uh, kind of forced into doing things, uh, new hobbies, um, new artsy type things, connecting with nature. Some of you, maybe it's balancing stones in the water. I'm thinking I'm going to get into doing that, but um, I was just seeing that. So maybe some of you are supposed to be doing that, but planting flowers, uh, making patterns uh, out of them that are, um, you know, symbols and stuff that you can, can connect with or other people can connect with um, for healing. Be creative with what you're doing, guys, so that other people can Heal from whatever it is you're doing, your music, your art, your painting, your books, your uh, whatever, whatever. Time to be creative. This is also about dreaming big. Don't be afraid to dream big and chase your dreams. Manifest those dreams in whatever way that you do manifest things, do that. Let me see if there's any confirmation cards. I'm going to let you guys go. Universal Energies, what messages do you have, please? For, thank you. Are there any more? Enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this one right here. Nine's about philanthropy, uh, being of service, uh, the God, the God um, energy or Christ consciousness energy, whatever you want to call it. Um, number three, decision. Three is about the spirit, uh, ascended masters, change, abundance, um, principles. But this this decision could be anything for anybody. You guys have choices to make on which way to go. Um, some of you, this is about, is this job better for me? Or is this relationship uh, the right relationship for me? Am I supposed to let go of this person, place, and thing? Lots of decisions to make. Like I said, we're in like a life review in April, possibly going into May or all the way through May, I'm hearing actually. So it's a major life review right now, making major decisions. Um, but I'm hearing like try not to make major, major decisions without really getting into praying and meditating and seeking guidance because a lot of these things are just temporary feelings and temporary things that we're thinking because we're supposed to be taking a, a look at these things. As the programming is collapsing or or being uh, taken away and changed, you're going to feel all kinds of weird feelings and emotions that you're not used to, or things come back up to the surface that you thought you'd already healed. That's all possible. So a lot of decisions, a lot of choices to make, make sure that you're praying and meditating before you make any major decisions and then do that. Okay, guys, um, there was quite a few I am affirmations today. So I am healthy. Put this one up on a, a, a post-it note all over your house say this every single day for 30 days or until you feel like you're healthy until you start seeing that your body feels healthier you're more energized all of that stuff i am determined i am confident i am generous and helpful be of service to people that are in need right now guys pay for people's food behind you go pull somebody's weeds do whatever pick up garbage out of people's yards just stay six to eight feet away <laughs> i am living my fullest potential i accomplish what i set out to do let me read that one again i am living my fullest potential i accomplish what i set out to do Okay, guys, like, share, subscribe, and follow. If you don't already, let me know down in the comments below if this reading resonates with you. 2929. Everybody have a wonderful day, and I love you. Bye.